you so much, Fran, and many thanks to Senator Murphy and Vice President Yorova. There are long reaching implications to how we handle questions of digital development and regulation. These technologies are transformative across private and public sectors, and the opportunities are apparent for practical, creative problem solving and the application of these transformative technologies. Next up today, we'll highlight some of the sectors that are at the forefront of these innovations, utilizing technology, technological achievements to push the envelope to reimagine and reshape their industries and to build normative frameworks around these emerging technologies. We'll start with a spotlight on transatlantic cooperation in combating organized crime from Catherine de Bolle, executive director of Europol, before turning to an in-depth conversation on managing emerging technologies, ethics, and geopolitics moderated by our own David Bray, director of the Geotech Center at the Atlantic Council. First, Director de Bolle. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to join you and contribute to this virtual US-EU dialogue celebrating our transatlantic relationship. First, let me say a few words about Europol before illustrating our joint work with our US counterparts through recent operational successes. Since information exchange is at the heart of law enforcement cooperation, Europol acts as the EU hub for criminal intelligence. Criminal analysis is at the core of our support to EU member states and international partners in investigations combating terrorism, cybercrime and other serious and organized crime. We operate the Secure Information Exchange Network application, which is the leading tool for secure exchange of information among European police forces and external partners. We also enable a unique environment by hosting around 220 liaison officers from EU member states, countries outside the EU and international organizations to help connect information. The community also includes liaison officers from 12 US federal and municipal law enforcement services. Europol supports member states and external partners like the US and Canada in complex investigations. Such as in the case of cybercrime, this crime area is borderless and often affects different jurisdictions. Such cases regularly have an international dimension and therefore require international and transatlantic cooperation and response. A recent operational success as the takedown of Emotet, which included the US and Canada, is a testimony to the power of the transatlantic cooperation. We work closely and coordinate with US authorities through the Joint Cybercrime Action Task Force at Europol, which is comprised of representatives from EU member states as well as US law enforcement agencies. The private sector is also key in combating cybercrime. Europol has a long-standing cooperation with US-based companies such as Microsoft through our advisory groups, which allow law enforcement and private sector to cooperate on cybercrime-related threats and challenges. I would like to highlight some significant operational successes we have had this year with our transatlantic partners. First, Operation Netforce Emotet takedown in January 2021, where together with the FBI, the UK, Canada and the EU member states and supported by Europol, authorities disrupted one of the most significant botnets of the past decade, Emotet. In large operations like Emotet, no country alone can take the full investigation under their responsibility. Countries need to support different aspects of the investigation. In this case, every country has taken the lead in a certain part of the investigation, including the US. Likewise, dark market. 
the world's largest illegal marketplace on the dark web, was taken offline on the 12th of January in an international operation involving Germany, Australia, Denmark, Moldova, Ukraine, the UK and with the DEA, FBI and IRS and supported by Europol. With the help of US law enforcement authorities, 20 servers were identified and seized to take down the marketplace. The stored data will give investigators new leads to further investigate the selling of illegal commodities, such as weapons, drugs and stolen or counterfeit credit card details. Therefore, international law enforcement cooperation with like-minded partners remains key. Europol is a perfect platform to support such global operations and we are committed to continue to support EU and international partners in order to ensure the rapid exchange of operational information, to support real-time investigations and to coordinate their implementation. I wish to thank you for the opportunity to share how our agency works to fight cross-border crime. Europol remains committed to this cause and appreciates the close cooperation with our transatlantic partners.